So with this video, we're gonna show you guys how to test a ASSC 1020 pressure vacuum breaker using the USC 10th edition and a uh, two valve kit. We are using the Kruger Instruments TK2. And then you're also gonna need a bleed off tee for the USC procedures, a crescent wrench or, or a Phillips screwdriver, depending on what kind of, the, of uh, canopy you have. And then also depending on the kind of test cocks, ours, we actually have valves for, um, you know, the backflow courses and things. But uh, you might have one where you have a uh, flathead screwdriver activated test cock, so you might need that. It's a one hose test, so you're only going to need one hose for this one. And uh, let's get started. So first step is remove the canopy. Second step is to flush the test cocks. You open test cock one, open test cock two. That's just to clear of debris and uh, relieve pressure and uh, get the air out of the lines. So test number one, air inlet opening point. It's still a bleed off tee on test cock one. Attach the high hose to the test kit, high side. As you notice, there's a high and a low side of every test kit. And test cock two. The test cocks go in order from beginning to end. So from the source, it goes up one and then two. Open test cock two. You notice the pressure goes onto the gauge. Open high bleed valve, bleed the air out. Close high bleed valve. Close shutoff valve number two. Then you want to make sure that your gauge is exactly level with the air inlet because there's head pressure differences. So if it's too high, you're gonna to read too low of a number. If it's too far down, it's gonna to read too um, high of a number on your gauge. So you want to make it exactly level with the air inlet and then you shut shut off valve number one then you slowly open the high bleed valve and you'll notice the pressure starts going down and you want to get it to where it's going pretty slow this is going to open when it opens you want to get that reading so it's going down six five four so about what three and a half four it opened up Right after it opens, it goes to zero, so you want to make sure you get it right. So then you close high bleed valve, so that, that reading would be three and a half or four. Close high bleed, remove hose from test cock two. And then you the water runs out because test cock two is open, and you want to make sure that the air inlet opens fully. So if it goes all the way down, you're good. Close test cock two. Open shutoff valve number one. You're gonna repressurize the assembly. Then you're gonna to move to the check valve. So you attach the high hose to the bleed off tee. The bleed off tee only serve, services this test. If the inlet shutoff valve is leaking, you can then bleed off the pressure. Otherwise you don't really use it. Um, so if you were to not have one, you could probably still do the test. Slowly open test cock one. You repressurize the gauge. Open high bleed, close high bleed. Close shutoff valve number one. And for this test, you want it to be either level with the check valve or level with the top of the water that would be above the check valve. So for this test, since test cock two is above the check valve, you want it to be level with test cock two. Shut inlet shut off. And then you open test cock two. You'll notice the pressure goes down. Air inlet opens, but don't worry about that. And then whatever the differential pressure on your gauge is the differential pressure across check valve one, which is about 1.8. So both of these values have to be at least one and that concludes the test. Now we can shut the, shut off, shut the test cocks, take off the equipment, repressurize assembly. And then of course, don't forget to reintroduce water to the system. And that concludes the test.